Good evening, everybody. It's another 9 p.m. and it means that it's another Shine at Nine episode. Today is episode 17 and it is an episode uh, with regards to recruitment and also if you listen to the entire episode, it will be with regards to pivoting your business and moving fast so that you are not left behind. And of course, we are talking about the new norm, right? Okay, so for today's episode, I have invited, uh, of course, it's a special guest. Every every guest of mine is considered special to me. Um, so this guest that I have today, um, how shall I put it? Ben Ho, he is a man of few words. So who is he according to his LinkedIn profile? He is building talent ecosystem. He is a serial entrepreneur and he's a father of two. So actually, I've had the pleasure of working with him. Working with him means being at high speed, being creative and flexible. So why are these the words uh, I choose to describe my experience with him? You'll understand by the end of this episode, yeah? So without much further ado, I'll bring in Ben to join me. Hi, Ben. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Hi, everyone. I was just telling the audience here tonight that um, I had the pleasure of working with you. And working with you means that one has to be at high speed, being creative and flexible. So, and I said that by the end of the show today, we will understand why I use these words to describe the experience with you. <laughs> okay, so if you're watching the show tonight, um, I can see a few of you are already joining us. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. If you know Ben, if you know me, click on like, click, and, click on like and click on share if you will, and say hello to us, say hello to Ben. And um, all right, so without much further delay, I want to introduce um, the man itself. And what a great day to have him with us today, seeing that today is Global Exhibitions Day. Correct, Ben? Yes. Wonderful. What is Global Exhibitions Day exactly? The, it's actually organized by UFI. They celebrate this every year. Um, I, I think it's in the first week of June. So they do ah. this um, celebrated exhibition industry. Mm, this year it's celebrated uniquely for exhibition industry. Yes. I see. Okay, Ben. Um, I think the audience here would first like to know uh, you a little bit better. Do you mind introducing yourself? Hi, everyone. Good evening. My name is Ben. I, I'm the founder of Talent Bank. In 2011, we started this company called Career Tour. I started, uh, we call it Career Tour. And we, we started with, as an event company, we organized career fairs for, for, for universities. We started with only six unis, universities in 2011. Then up to date, we have about 100 over universities. We help students with uh, connecting and students with employers. So these are the uh, employers we work with. Uh, what we do is actually we provide a platform and we, we provide a platform inside university campuses. Then we bring the employers inside the campus and help them connect to each other. We also do specialized placement services. Specialized placement services. Only focus on graduates, okay. All right, so we can see here that um, this is Ben's uh, website where while he's partnered with big names, yeah, I saw Resorts World, PWC, TM, wow, wonderful. Okay, so that's a little bit about uh, Ben Ho's uh, talent bank, yeah? Okay, so um, how, how, what make you, made you start Career Tour Integrated back in 2011? What's the reason for, for, for that desire to be an entrepreneur? We, in fact, I wanted to be an entrepreneur when I was working with uh, an exhibition, a global exhibition company that I just posted on my Facebook profile and LinkedIn profile earlier this about mm -hmm. this evening. Um, I wanted to start. I started my entrepreneurship journey since college. On my second year, started as mm -hmm. doing website for clients for Eyeball Studio. Yeah. So from there, I have entrepreneurship mindset, and after years of experience with exhibition company. I started organizing one, which is called Career Tour. So why the name Career Tour is because we want to tour the career, career fair, campus to campus. Wonderful. Are you, are you the first organization that does this? We are not the first. We mm -hmm. are the third. You are the third. Time, okay. Seven, the third. Wow. But this sounds very new to me, actually. Um, yeah. 2011, yeah, I was out of college. No wonder I haven't heard of this. It would have been really easy to have this kind of service within the college itself. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, with the MCO, because um, 
because the nature of Ben's uh, um, organization, he has to be within the campus. And of course, with exhibitions, you have to have people gathering within a confined space, so to speak. Yeah. Um, so with the MCO and all that, your career fairs would have needed a change in form. So what exactly did you do? What did you do to um, remain um, relevant? So uh, like many other companies, many other business partners and entrepreneurs plus customers, we, we all got hit badly. Uh, all the career fairs has been cancelled uh, since January and February on the, until end of the year. So we spoke to all the university partners as well. We, in fact, there's career fairs the peak period of career fairs is actually March, April, May, and June. Okay, and even mm -hmm. October and uh, November. What ha what happened is actually they have to cancel everything, mm -hmm. and we have to we, we we started to buy our domain name. So we from from offline we plan to do online, and we started mm -hmm. to buy our domain name called digitalcareerfairs.com. We bought the domain name on the six, 16, mm -hmm. uh, on the on the 18. MCO was being announced, 18 of March, mm -hmm. March. Mm -hmm. So we started daily meetings and we, actually, we, we managed to launch the career fairs within one month, which is on the 4th of May. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, so the first thing you did was buy a domain. Yes. We so it was some kind of a name first. Correct. And I want it to be mm -hmm. .com. Ah, okay. Why, why, why so specifically why? .com? It's a global business, global opportunity. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so you can understand that actually Ben understands um, marketing as well as digital marketing very well. He's done website um, development before in his uh, past career. And I understand that Ben is also a graphic designer at one point of his life. First, first job. <laughs> first job. Wow. A yeah. man with multiple talents. Okay. Um, so then uh, what, what was next? Um, how, how, how did you start approaching companies? Because instead of hey, setting up a booth at your physical career fair at a, at a venue, a location that is glamorous, that can show off their big building and big build up. So how did you convince them to um, move on to a virtual version? Yes. So maybe we can show the screen as well. Okay. okay. When we first uh, started this digital career festival, we many people have uh, this, this mindset that career fairs must be in exhibition hall or uh, in fact, they are not the first to do virtual exhibition, uh, virtual career fair. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not the first, but we are the most comprehensive with a lot of uh, information inside, career talks. We have best employee brands. We also have uh, uh, the, the, top, the, best, the best brands. And uh, we, we attract different audience from all the universities, about 100 universities. So, I blended this as a tailor made digital career festival because uh, the, word, the word virtual has been overused. So mm. we, we call it digital and we call it career and festival is because festival can be used for a duration. But if you use for fair, you can use for, uh, let's say, day, you can only use for one or two days, maximum three days exhibition. But okay. if you use for festival, it can be one week, it can be two weeks or 60 days. So in our mm. case, we are planning for 50 days and it's actually proven it's because we actually measure by our using the Google Analytics. Our data is telling us every second, uh, no, not every second, it's about maybe a few minutes, about 10, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. candidates are coming in. If you can see the pop-up at the bottom, uh -huh. this area, this is mm -hmm. actually uh, live, 42 wow. minutes ago. So I mean, wow. I actually, so right now, this is live, and you can see Faiz, he just signed up one hour ago, and he's 92, we can know his age as well. Yeah, he's from Kerala. Right. So wow. this, this, these are from Hello Star. It's one hour ago. If I, if we were to organize our physical career fair, we cannot get any candidates from Hello Star. We cannot get any candidates from UK, Australia. So in mm. fact, uh, Kerala is also telling us our highest visitors is actually from Kuala Lumpur, number one, number two, Shah Alam, number three, Subhan Jaya, number four, Johor Bahru. Wow, okay. So you've got um, statistics to, to show. Um, yes. Maybe uh, the career fair for next year, you can show uh, interested employers that um, these are our the locations that we are popular in. Correct. We, cannot be, mm. we are also measuring where they're from, uh, what time they came in. Ah, uh, what time they came in. Wonderful. 
Oh, this is exciting. I'm just seeing that pop-up box, you know, as you are talking. Okay, yeah. all right. Let, tell us more. Share with us more. Uh, we started on the 4th of May. Mm -hmm. Up to date, we have about 57 visitors. I just checked this morning. Okay. 57, pop-up 57,000 times. This one. 57,000 times pop-up. Okay, so that's about uh, 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 about a month already. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. So they come in. We, so that's, that was... Uh, that would justify why we are doing this for two months. It's actually a long duration. We have a lot of uh, a lot of work behind. Of course, they have to debug. My program have to debug. Uh, mm -hmm. This is not a perfect site yet, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Nothing is perfect. So we are still doing debugging on daily basis and also mm -hmm. adding on new features. Right. So uh, students can actually browse this like an exhibition. Mm -hmm. Of course, people ask me, exhibition should look at exhibition booth. So yeah. this is like this is like a job site uh, to me exhibition mm -hmm. not necessarily be fancy with 3d both so 3d both you put there you have to click this poster you go in and read and you zoom out zoom in so yeah. that is not necessary because our only intention is to showcase employers to allow students to go in to apply for jobs so that's our intention mm -hmm. we have to in ui ux point of view we have to make it quick simple straightforward go mm -hmm. straight to the point if you can do it in four steps, what do you need to do in 10 steps? So that's yeah. the intention of making sure. it simple. Yeah. So we are running also, also running a survey. We ask students with their, of their feedback, they like it, they like this to be clean. They like this to be clean and simple. So that's, clean that's and simple. Yep. Okay. It does look very clean, very simple. Um it, it appeals to my my eyes at least. Uh all right. And it, wait, what is this part? Yes, the photo. So before this, we were doing okay. this exhibition. You have to give up. Uh, we started in 2017 in Pyramid Convention mm -hmm. Center. Mm -hmm. You have to walk around the booth. And actually, if Nestle, they won't be able to measure who went to the booth, who actually mm -hmm. submitted a uh, resume, because you just drop okay. candidates, just drop here, A, B, C, D, E. They just drop everywhere. With Digital Career Festival, we are, we are able to measure how many mm -hmm. people went to the booth. Sorry, how many people? How many candidates actually drop by this booth? We can measure. I see. Okay, by booth you mean probably like a yeah. employer's name, TM. So the the yeah. candidate would have clicked on them. That is what you mean by dropping into that booth. Correct. Ah, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So this is another view. Then we have our candidates. My client from Slam BJ. Then mm -hmm. we also have a photo a double deck. Oh wow. By organizing digitally, we, we can save a lot of venue costs, f and costs, and also logistics. Employers don't mm -hmm. need to travel. And mm -hmm. most of the time, uh, when employers are attending, uh, when they're at manning the booth, right, they have to answer mm -hmm. the questions repeatedly. The questions are usually, what, what is your working hour? And what's my role? What, is, what, what are the available jobs? So these are mm -hmm. the repeated questions. Mm -hmm. So this can be addressed inside the landing page like this. This okay. is like a landing page. Obviously, a website, a landing page, to be honest, but mm -hmm. we also put in the word virtual booth. Yeah? Employers can show, right. that, show their booth, their company name, their logo. Uh, ah, okay, understood. Yeah, okay. Videos, photos, their jobs, and mm -hmm. benefits. All okay? right, okay, great. So, for example, TM, they can show, let's say, 9,000 over booth visits here. So, this mm. is actually transparent to all the stakeholders. Oh wow, that's wonderful. Okay, I didn't notice that before this. Yeah, so okay. we just leave it there for everyone to see. Okay, wonderful. Um, yeah, we leave this screen here, but then I will pop through a question coming in um, this early yeah. on. Yeah, Mohana uh, is asking, Hi Ben, what's up Jerry? Uh, with lots of employment, probably more now due to COVID-19, I'm sure your bank is full. Uh, I'm assuming he's talking about full of uh, job opportunities, yeah? How are the placements like? Are people getting jobs? And is there really so many openings available when many organizations are trying to limit spending? Yes. To address to this question, thank you for the question. Uh, yes, our bank is starting to get, not full yet, getting in. So mm -hmm. when we call bank, uh, we, 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 calling that, uh, we, are, we are talking about resumes. Yeah, people mm -hmm. will never see their resumes in. Uh, ah, the bank is the resume. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a resume bank. Mm -hmm. Employees are still hiring, 
but selectively based on the roles. We were also very skeptical when we first started this project. So we were, we are, we were asking ourselves, uh, if you go to this job, we, we were asking ourselves, even my team, when, when we first started in mid of March, uh, we asked, mm -hmm. are we going to succeed? What if we fail? Mm -hmm. okay, what if there's no enough jobs? And we start calling employers, our customers that we have been working for years. So we asked them, hey, if I run this, will you support? What's the concept? Uh, what do you want? What, what, how do you want it to look like? Mm -hmm. So we call them, they call Public Bank, we call them and they say, okay, no problem because we have uh, positions. We're also hiring uh, not only fresh grads, we also have have some senior positions. Mm -hmm. So that's why they, they, they are okay, they support. Mm -hmm. And we were surprised up to date, we have 749. 749 since you launched. Launch. Yes. When, mm -hmm. Before we launched, uh, our initial KPI was only 200. All oh, right. Okay. So you yes. exceeded by three and a half times. Yes. Okay. So, yes, employers are still hiring. There are still opportunities for mm -hmm. candidates. Uh, uh, unfortunately, even myself, uh, I'm getting resumes on a daily basis. They want to work mm -hmm. with Taylor But the application mm -hmm. quality is too, too weak to be uh, to be. To, to be accepted is too weak. Okay. So the application quality is too weak. That would be a conversation for another day, wouldn't that be? <laughs> uh, not justifiable. You just, mm -hmm. you don't feel like arranging for an interview. Mm -hmm. The quality is not good. Mm -hmm. um, so your service, I mean, your service as far as the Digital Career Fest is concerned, would mm -hmm. your service include to um, match jobs? I mean, are the employers um, expecting Talent Bank to, to provide them with some resumes, some candidates? Yes. So um, mm -hmm. this is our landing page. Mm -hmm. Let me move this thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. For candidates, they can vote for best employer choice, visit our digital career festival. For mm -hmm. employers, uh, they can get accredited as best employer brand, get voted. Mm -hmm. It can join TDCF 2020. If you're an employer, you can join for uh, join listing, uh, get applications. Yeah, you can also join mm -hmm. the physical career fair. Other mm -hmm. than that, you can also call us for specialized placement services. Let's say, mm -hmm. for example, you you you, you mentioned to me, uh, Ben, I have this position, I have this vacancy, need to be filled mm -hmm. urgently. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I need to be need this to be filled by 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, mm -hmm. and this is my hiring budget. So we can mm -hmm. do that for you. I see. Ben, would you mind? Uh, would you mind uh, running your mouse through the for employers only? Uh, okay. And okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Can you enlarge your screen and show us that at the same time? Okay. Let's just take a look, yeah, guys. So under for employers. So if you're an employer, you've got four options here, and Ben is also saying that you can call them and request for a recruitment service, specialized yep. recruitment service. Yeah. So they provide this service as well. Yep. That's wonderful. That's the problem with Talent Bank. It's because mm -hmm. it's a storage of uh, talents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. All right, Ben. Okay, that's good. Is there anything else you would like to show us from here? No. Uh, let's move on. Do we have any okay. questions from the floor? Um, from the floor, no, no, not yet, apart from Mohanat's uh, question just now. Um, okay. I would have to say that it is quite impressive the number of uh, the, the level of uh, employers that you have. It's quite high quality employers, um, and you already have so many job vacancies, job opportunities for the candidates. Okay, um, how did the stakeholders accept this change? I mean, you did mention just now that uh, your team contacted them, and um, these are the ones that you have worked with for many years. So they are happy to come on board, seeing that hey, this is the only option right now since MCO. Um, but what about new new employers? Um, yeah, are they open to this concept? Uh, yes, we have difficulties explaining to them. So mm -hmm. uh, during the month of March and also April, we do mm -hmm. a lot of teaching on a daily basis. So we have to present our deck to the employers and to tell them, okay, uh, this is our concept, this is the duration, and what are the audience we're going to pull in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even uh, even the employers when before they do free listing, they they also asking us how is it like and how are we going to get applications and they also suggested features. Ah, okay, they suggested features. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Ah, there is a hello from Marina. Hi, Gerald. Hi, Hi Benho. 
<laughs> Thank you for watching uh, tonight, Marina. Okay, all right. Um, and apart from, I mean, you as the business owner, you had a direction, you had an understanding as to what you want or how you wanted to pivot. How did your team take it? How easy were, were the adaptability within the team? I'm grateful for my team to believe in this idea. This is uh, actually a crazy idea because uh, <laughs> no one has done this in this, this scale because the, the investment is not only the development cost, mm -hmm. it's also our time cost, our cost of opportunity. So I'm mm -hmm. grateful that they, they actually spend their time and pitch to employees together and believe in this concept. So they call the employers uh, to, to, to spend time with them and explain to them what is this about. So luckily mm -hmm. we get signups on a daily basis uh, and we managed to get about 90 employers by 4th of May and it's still increasing now. Mm -hmm. In fact, some employers actually, they, they added jobs along the way. Ah, okay, not only did they sign up, then along the way they just added extra jobs and yes. that adds on to your, your, your total. Yep. Okay, all right. So and how you as the leader, as the boss, uh, managed to you know lead the team to doing this crazy thing during this you know a situation where they're stuck at home if it's not stuck they are probably very busy very confused how do you juggle working from home so as a leader how did you manage this i just need to make sure they believe in my my, my vision and our company's mission we have mm -hmm. to uh, as a movers and shakers of graduate availability and actually mm -hmm. it's not only graduate availability we already move on to uh, also working adults because the graduates already uh, progress. They are already working adults now. So we already we start we are starting to remove the word graduate. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a movers and shaker, we have to believe in what we do, and also to pull to, to get connection from our our connection in ministry. Uh, of course, we have to get support from uh, MDEC, mm -hmm. yeah, these partners, and I just get my mm -hmm. team to move along with me lah. We move fast and we have a daily meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning until mm -hmm. about 9.30, uh, talking about different projects to get this mm -hmm. going non-stop. Okay. And oh yeah, I forgot the other stakeholder, the other party. How are the universities in, involved in this? We are getting them, uh, before we, we started the Digital Career Festival, uh, mm -hmm. we, we did a group meeting with them. So we are we're sharing them our idea and get a feedback. We, we we asking for their support to share the concept with their uh, students. In mm -hmm. fact, we have permission from all the uh, most of the unis, about uh, fifteen of them, to mm -hmm. post about this advertisement on their Facebook page and also to boost ads to pull traffic. Uh -huh. Oh, wonderful! And and I, I'm sure the universities are more uh, quick to be on board with this concept because, as yes. we know, universities are actually very fast to move. Yeah. Correct. Very interesting. And uh, the best yeah, is, uh, even they are from mm -hmm. different states, they can also support. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, exactly. I just saw someone from EPO logging into your system. That's yeah. so exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if if I was in your position, I'll be probably staring at that, that pop-up for the whole night. <laughs> did yeah, you do that the first month, the first week? Yes. Uh, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> for two weeks you did that? <laughs> two weeks ago. Right, right. Okay, so Ben, how do you think the future potential of uh, virtual career career fair will be like? Is uh, this the way to go fair, even beyond MCO? Yes, virtual career fair would not replace the physical career fair because humans mm -hmm. still need to get, get in touch with each other, uh, meet each other, gather, gather together with friends. So this will be additional on top of our existing product, which is the one in Pyramid Convention Center. The Pyramid Convention Center, uh, uh, career fair has been planned in next year in the, on 21st March and 22nd mm -hmm. March. Yes, we oh, confirmed. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this digital career fair, career festival, will still continue twice a I year see. for the okay. convenience of the whole Malaysia, uh, the Malaysian in uh, for, for every every Malaysian. I see. Okay. All right. So that that remains. I mean. Although we do like this idea of a virtual career fair, you are right. Mm -hmm. The human connection still will happen. Okay, yes. so I'm putting up this. We are, we are approaching 9.30. Um, uh, not to end this so quickly, but um, there are a few things we have to cover still towards the end of the show. So if you would like, audience, if you would like to get connected with Ben Ho, uh, feel free to contact him at this URL, yeah, ben.com.my. 
um, yeah, he's a friendly guy. <laughs> he might look very serious. He's a very friendly guy. So yeah, I connect with him, especially if you are uh, an employer or a fresh graduate. Uh, yeah, he would really uh, be the right guy to talk to for your recruitment needs. Yeah. All right. Um, then I'm supposed to show this. Learn more and collaborate with Ben. There's this talentbankgroup.com. Ben, um, yeah, this talentbankgroup.com is actually a new website, right? Initially, uh, previously we were called uh, .com .my. So uh -huh. because, of our, because of COVID, we are actually mm -hmm. developing of new products that we are targeting the Asian market. So mm -hmm. we want to start branding ourselves as a global company instead of uh, just .com .my. So the .my was dropped, yeah? Yes. So this is like a little rebranding for you, for you guys. All right. We want to be Wonderful. seen as a global company, not only Malaysia company. Beautiful. See, this is why they're movers and shakers. <laughs> For the rest of us, there's a lot we can learn here also, yeah? even if you're not in the same industry. All right. Um, so for employers who would like to uh, participate with, uh, in your talent bank career, virtual career fest, what can they do? Okay. For employers that you would like to, like to join, uh, to redeem your free listing, just go mm -hmm. to this URL. Uh, just click, go browse to the page and schedule an appointment with my team. We just mm -hmm. make a is called for them to understand what's your business nature and how we can actually benefit you to make sure you, you you get some results through this project because we there's there's no listing self self-serve uh button on this side everything has been done just like execution we have to put up the space for you we have to set up the booth for you so exactly the same we want to remain the same uh so those, there's no self-serve you have to contact us you have to make a quick mm -hmm. call Minutes for us to understand who are you hiring. So mm. we have is this the right platform for you? Wonderful. Okay, so, so that's for the employer side. Sorry, you were saying that. What's the last part? Just go to this link. Uh it's actually here. Participate as employee as beta. Ah, at the yeah. bottom, yeah. Okay. Uh okay. Also, if you are not sure where to go at the end of this um session i will copy and paste this um, website url onto the comment box for you to pick it up easily so again if you are employers who would like to be to join the virtual career fest so you can do this and you'll get a free employers profile yeah ben's team yep. is ready to assist you on that okay and how about candidates candidates good news if you are a fresh graduate if you are a um, um, a bit more into like maybe one or two years you can even leave your resume register for a free account and start applying for jobs with your preferred choice of employers quite uh, quite a lot as we saw earlier right so this is good news for candidates it's free to have an account so ben has uh, opened up the page there so it's as simple as that yeah register now all right and the last part ben i understand that you're also looking for speakers yeah, that's right. Uh, we have a lot of uh, speaking slot. Uh, mm -hmm. These are actually our confirmed speakers. Let me ask you to So these are the confirmed speakers uh, in thirteen hours, which is tomorrow. Jerry is about uh, why must why you must equip yourself with the ability to live stream five G era. Mm -hmm. uh, we have back to back speaking slots, and we actually have more slots that we are looking for speakers that you would like to share your opinions uh, to inspire the students. Uh, any topic of Sorry, Ben, we lost you. Any topic of their choice? Yes, topic of your choice. Can you maybe propose a few areas that are, are good topics? For example, uh, resume tips, maybe mm. an etiquette, personal grooming, or mm. maybe like Tracy. Tracy is, uh, is our friend as well. So mm. uh, I'm telling the students you can learn Mandarin and get your additional advantage to get hired. So we are also mm. encouraging some uh, booming students to join this session. Wonderful. Okay, so we get the idea that the audience being the fresh graduate, so um, ask ourselves what are our talents, what are our experiences that we can pass on to these youngsters so that they can stand out in the job market as they go out to uh, attend interviews, to ace their interview. That's the idea, right, Ben? Correct. 
Okay, wonderful. So if you are a speaker, and I do have a lot of speaker speakers uh, as friends on my Facebook profile, so if you'd like to be one of our, one of their speakers, Ben's speakers, please get in touch with him to book your speaking slot. Um, getting in touch with him is as easy as www.ben.com.my. I have no idea how he managed to buy this domain, B-E-N. It's his own domain <laughs> amongst millions of bands out there. Okay. Many years ago. Many years ago, that's the trick. <laughs> now it's too late, right? Okay, Ben, um, we've actually reached to the end of our show. Um, yep. Okay, since you work with uh, students, you work with universities, and you work with employers um, a lot, these three uh, are your stakeholders. What would you be able to share with us uh, to to um, what would you be able to share with us tonight to show to show that actually the market out there is not being frozen in terms of job hiring? We uh, it's most of the companies they, they actually okay I would say about twenty to percent twenty to thirty percent of employees they are still hiring. And it's also subject to industry. For example, uh, tech industry, they are still hiring. And if I think about, talk about job roles, uh, sales, often they are still hiring sales, they are still hiring marketing. In fact, we are, we are actually working on place and train program with HRDF. We do based on sales, marketing, tech, operations, and So sales and marketing will be the first priority because the market plus also manufacturing. They are looking for officers. If you are, uh, if you are uh, looking for salary range of about thousand six to thousand uh, nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. So manufacturing, they are also looking for to hire. With okay. numbers, talking about numbers. Okay. How about how about digital marketing and uh, gig economy uh, types of uh, jobs? Definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. For digital marketing, we saw a uh, 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 more high higher demand. Mm -hmm. Even ourselves, we are also spending a lot on digital marketing for branding mm -hmm. and also lead gen. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are if you don't have that skill, please learn that learn it up. Would that mean I think Coursera is actually free of charge in collaboration with MDEC. It's mm -hmm. actually free of charge. Learn it up. And most importantly, you have to practice. Because even after learning through Coursera, mm -hmm. if you don't practice, basically you won't be able to experience the, the real thing. Right. Yeah. So, so, uh, so the mm -hmm. so, we are starting a gig platform. We, right. we are the market is uh, some couldn't uh, couldn't get a permanent job, so we are starting a gig platform for Malaysia to connect mm -hmm. with employers with gig opportunities. So oh, for employers okay. who are looking for contingency workers, can be uh, an accounting bookkeeping jobs. Maybe for mm -hmm. one project or one duration, they can hire mm -hmm. through this platform. We are working on okay. that. So Ben's got a solution all around, full-time, part-time, gig, gigs, freelance gigs, yeah? Okay, yeah. all right. So um, what Ben, just to recap what Ben has shared is that, um, well, the, the, the job industry, well, they are still hiring, there's still recruitment going on, but more industry-specific and probably profession-specific. So if you are um, more uh, able to do sales and marketing, that would be a good, this would be a good time for you. But also you can pick up additional skills especially in the fields of digital marketing and that will really help you um, stand out and um, be i guess hotter <laughs> for you to be employed during this period difficult period yeah all right okay that's amazing um there are no further questions on on the live stream uh, on the audience chat so yep. with that ben thank you so much for sharing your platform with us uh, sharing what you have been up to and um i always learn a lot from this guy it's because he moves really fast and the joy of working with him is that he really he pivots so fast and um, he's rather fearless. So um, thank you, Ben, for your time tonight. Uh, you. All the best to Talent Bank in this new journey. Uh, Mohanad says thank you. And thanks, Mohanad, for staying the whole entire uh, 30 minutes. Thank you, Mohanad. All thank right. You, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ben, from the bottom of my heart. All right, till the next episode of Shine at Nine. It's coming up on Friday. So uh, with that, good night, everyone. Stay safe, stay home. Bye. Bye.